The Just Archdiocese St. Mary Immaculate Catholic Widows Association has appealed for a generous donation of the public for them to construct their skill acquisition center. We bring you the report. The Just Archdiocese St. Mary Immaculate Catholic Widows Association marked its international day with a call for the enactment of a bill that will protect the widows and the orphans. But the outgoing and incoming president and secretary general of the women group lamented that most of the widows and orphans are passing through a lot of challenges. Therefore, they are soliciting for financial support to enable them complete the constructions of its skills acquisition center. If there is every, any possibility of bringing up a bill, raising a bill that will help us to come out of this very challenge that we are passing through, we will be very appreciative. Let the world recognize us and also I mean, stand for us. So we want to use that training center to train our widows, to train the children and other vulnerable women. In a homely the priest in charge of St. Matthias Pastoral Area, Gassen, very reverend Father Daniel Ejide, urged Christians to support the widows and the orphans. To our support, especially on this day, as they call upon us to support them, we will support them with all our hearts, so that at the end, that goal of the vocation center will be realized in Jesus' name. In her goodwill message, the national president of Catholic Women Organization, Dame Mary Asebi Gonzum, urged the widows to be fervent in prayers. I want to charge them as well that should continue to pray for the repose of their husbands and their lost uh, children as well, that God will continue to grant them eternal rest. For those of us who are yet to be widows and uh, widowers, because it is the path that every one of us must follow. The celebration of the International Widows' Day also featured the inauguration of new ESCO and cutting of the cake. Walby Ogak report from Joss. It was a joyful moment for parishioners and friends of St. John the Baptist Parish in Pape as they roll out their drums to celebrate their cultural diversity. The cultural day which was meant to promote unity in the body of Christ showcases the rich cultural heritage of the parishioners. We we'll bring you the report. Culture is a people's way of life. It helps to unite and teach people on how to understand and live peacefully with one another. It is in light of this that parishioners of St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, Pape, recently came together to celebrate unity through their cultural heritage. The cultural day and silver jubilee of the parish commenced with a holy mass officiated by Reverend Father Roland Wakbuda, the vicar pastora of Abuja Ashtasas. In his homily, Father Wakbuda thanked God for the growth of the parish for the past 25 years. It is indeed wonderful to see what the small St. John the Baptist has grown into. And today, as we thank God for this growth, as we thank God for these 25 years of their existence as a parish, we pray in a special way for those who began this journey with you but are no longer here today. He also urged the parishioners to form the habit of thanksgiving to God, regardless of challenges they encounter. See how God has continued to bless and keep you in many ways. But very often, 
we do not pay attention to this little, little miracles that happen every day. He called for prayers for peace in Nigeria and for the church as well, encouraging the parishioners to entrust their plans into God's hands. After the homily, Eucharistic celebration followed as well as offertory. When the Mass was over, parishioners showcased their rich cultural heritage in their cultural attires. The reception started with the blessing of Kola. In his opening remarks, Sir Victor Murako explained the essence of the celebration. On this auspicious occasion of 25 years, silver jubilee of our patron saint parish, St. John the Baptist, Catholic Church in Papi. For me, it's a great honor. I want all of us gathered here today to share this rare privilege. Different cultural group dancers performed to entertain the guests and the dignitaries. <laughs> There was presentation of awards to parishioners who have contributed to the growth and development of the parish for the past 25 years. High point of the event was the cutting of the cultural and 25th anniversary cake at Miss Shares. We salute our hands together. Thank you very much. For CTV News, Delphine Asu reporting.